Very serious looking Arsenal manager. That suggests perhaps he's a little worried about uh, what lies ahead here. And Reading under the former Arsenal player, Brian McDermott, hoping to end a horrible sequence against Arsenal. This is their 10th meeting with them and they have lost all of the previous nine. Wide by Coquelin, and here's Gnabry's first touch, which gave the ball away. He has come on as a substitute in two of the last three matches, so his appearance is not just limited to the Capital One Cup this season, which shows perhaps a bit of the faith that Arsenal do have him here. Here's Nicky Shorey. Hunt. Robson can do Roberts! Terrific start for Reading! And it's the old war horse himself, Jason Roberts! Well, if you're a young striker and you want to know how to lose a defender, lose your marker to get on the end of a cross, take a look at this, because at 33 years old, he uses all his nows, Jason Roberts, and he gets his reward. And Jay Tab, as it does really well there, feeds the ball out wide, but watch Roberts, faints like he's going to go near, goes in behind Koscielny, and he's left in front of goal. It's a wonderful cross, but it's wonderful movement that gets Jason Roberts his opportunity, and he is not going to miss from there. It's an emphatic finish, and Reading have got the lead that Brian McDermott, well, he would have been craving against his old club. Didn't he enjoy it? Here he's worked it through well, Gunter tries to line it up, and it's gone in, it's an own goal! It's gone in off Lauren Koscielny! And Arsenal's despair compounded, but joy here for Reading, who lead them 2-0! Well, just like the first goal, they get in down the sides, they get in behind Arsenal, and they get into an area where they can put a real dangerous cross into the box. It's good, it's tight there, isn't it? But McCleary does well, Gunter finds space, and Koscielny, well, He's beyond the near post. He has to try and intercept it. And the only kind of contact that he can get that will send that ball in the net, he somehow manages to get. Here's Ledger Wood. And looks for another strike, a goal! And he's got it in! This is unreal! Three up inside 20 minutes! Mikel Ledger Wood scores for the second game in a row. Martinez finding his shot too hot to handle. And despair for Arsene Wenger, whose team are being ripped to shreds. Well, they are. This is an absolute disaster for the young goalkeeper. Comes from a corner, and it very much looks as if they've got that clear, but... Ah, uh, sloppy Shamak that gives the ball away. Legit Wood does really, really well here. But that should not be fine in the back of the net. You can see by the angle that the ball goes in, Martinez gets it all wrong, he's trying to palm it away to his left and somehow the ball squirms into his right. Shamak, losing out to Morrison. Here's Mikel Ledgerwood, urged to shoot again and after what happened last time might have been tempted, but instead finds McCleary. Hunt, in off the post! is not happy, he's with the fourth official, he just feels like it should have been a foul given Arsenal's way in the lead up to that goal. Noel Hunt, a player that I'm sure Arsenal don't probably know too much about, but if they do their homework, what they will know about Noel Hunt is just how very, very good in the air he is. One of the best headers of a ball that I've seen for a few years, and that is a wonderful header. Well, the fourth goal means that some Arsenal fans, we assume, have seen enough and are heading for home already. Here's our Shavin. And now the chance for Walcott to make an impact for Arsenal. And at last, something goes right for them right near the end of the half. Could that be the start of an improbable comeback? It needs to be the spark, doesn't it? It really does. And this is what you want to see more of from Theo Walcott. Gets himself in between defenders, onside, and once he's away, they're not going to catch him. He stays calm, and it's a really cool, calculated finish. Dinks it over, Federici. No 
question. Arsenal have improved in the last 10 minutes or so. Walcott's called a serious header. And talk about an instant impact. Arsenal really are motoring now. I mean, the, the, the corner is hit with such pace. It's curling away from Giroud, but the way he redirects that pace, absolutely wonderful. Shaman. Miguel diving in with the challenge, which won the ball, but Ledger Wood having emerged with it, then goes down. The referee plays on. Shamak. Here's Theo Walcott trying to place one, and he's won a corner. Reading just over a minute, plus stoppage time away from recording their first ever victory over Arsenal at the 10th attempt. Kossielny! And the man who scored against Arsenal now scores for them. And Arsenal are three quarters of the way to a famous comeback. Well, again, Brian McDermott won't be happy with the defending. Kaspers Gorks. It is. Challenges. Runs under the ball. That leaves Koscielny with a free header. Not going to miss from there. Well, we're beyond the four minutes indicated. But the indications are that Arsenal might get the opportunity to launch one last assault on the Reading goal. Coquelin gets the ball in towards Marouane, Shamak headed down, Walcott with a chance, and is it over? Yeah, that's over. It is now, it's been turned in in the end by Jenkinson to make absolutely sure, and Arsenal have done it, from 4-0 down, they've drawn a level right at the death. Well, when I looked at the assistant referee, I'm sure I saw daylight between the first effort, he did not raise his flag, it doesn't matter now, but long hopeful ball, Knocked down, Walcott, that's well over. The assistant referee, unobstructed view, has got to see that. It could have mattered, that is the big thing. I mean, you've got to see that from where you're standing. Jenkinson follows up. There's a handball in there to boot. Reading don't like it because they feel 90, nearly 96 minutes been played. Time should have been up. Well, Jenkinson's goal has stopped. A potential controversy there because had he not followed it up then maybe the goal wouldn't have counted Jason Roberts furious in his uh, discussions there with Michael Oliver Miguel Shamak just dragging it through for Olivier Giroud here's our Shavin Marouane Shamak goes for goal and does it who were 4 0 down lead for the first time, and it's the forgotten man, Marouane Shamak, who has his name up in lights. Oh, looking down at Brian McDermott, poor Brian McDermott, just pacing around his technical area. Cannot believe what he's seen. Lovely build up play. Shamak, it was that flicked that ball to Giroud and carried on. Our Shabin gets it back to Shamak. And how often do you see it when a shot goes through a defender's legs? Goalkeeper unsighted, late reacting, it's in the corner, and Shamak has given his team the lead. Here is Robson Cano. Makinov was in there waiting, but it's gone all the way across to Gunter. And the head is in from Pogrebniak. Absolutely astonishing. Well, Arsenal arms are in the air, they want offside. They really want offside, they're not going to get it. Morassi were deep cross. Arsenal just let it go all the way to the back post, and as that is struck, well, maybe level. And of course, all that the assistant referee can see is Lauren Koscielny's red shirt. You can't see the two blue shirts behind him. And Pogrebniak following in as the simplest of headers. And it's game on again. And it's Arshavin. There'll be two minutes of stoppage time. Man in the box if he can get it across. And he has it off the line. Shots on follow-up. And it's turned in. And surely this time, Theo Walcott has won it. 11 goals on a mad night at the Madejski Stadium. And Arsenal having seemingly been down and out once, then packed back again by Reading, have surely hit now for the last time. Three, four other Arsenal players 
to break there, break quickly, and they have punished. And did we say Arshavin may have the last laugh? I think he has. It may have been a goal for Walcott, but Andre Arshavin has torn Reading to pieces for just the one time that was necessary. And Walcott, I think he's just scored the winning goal. What an amazing, amazing game. And a missed header gives Shamak a chance to seal it once and for all for Arsenal here. And he has! So ends one of the most remarkable nights in League Cup history as Arsenal claim a seventh. Arsene Wenger heads for the quarter-finals of this competition and he will wonder, and many others will wonder, how they've got there. It is a shame that such a game needed to be clinched on a mistake, a defensive mistake, but... Shamak really punishes Chris Gunter. That's a calm, calculated finish. And what started out as a dream in heaven has turned into a nightmare. You have to feel for Brian McDermott. One of the most remarkable nights in the history of this competition. Arsenal through to the quarter-finals of the League Cup. But only after being 4-0 down and only after one heck of a struggle here with Reading, a Theo Walcott hat-trick in the end, helping to get them through with the help of a second goal from Marouane Shamak to clinch it right at the death. But Reading, who were 4-0 up in the first half, will wonder how on earth this game slipped away.